G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is a Let's Draw video where the Twitch chat vote on what character I draw and the winning vote today is Spider-Man. In the meantime, I got the Twitch chat to vote on the costume they prefer and the winner of uh, all of these options was number two and it turns out that that happens to be Sensational Spider-Man, is that correct? Yes, it's correct, Sensational Spider-Man. So today in our Let's Draw, I'm gonna be creating a illustration of Sensational Spider-Man. Wish me luck. So to start off with, I play around with some sketches of just some poses, some Spider-Man-ish poses, because he's very limber and flexible and iconic Spider-Man pictures have very interesting poses. But that being said, they're also quite challenging. In the end, I felt like the dynamic I was enjoying and wanted to go for was one with Spider-Man up against a wall and ready to jump out again. So I start off by sketching a very rough grid that is gonna act as a bit of a perspective base looking up for where Spider-Man is anchored against the wall and start to rough in Spider-Man's penciled geometry, his character uh, construction. Once I'm sort of happy with how it's turned out, I can solidify the silhouette of Spider-Man, add a little bit of uh, solidity and detail and refinement to the building behind him, uh, took a bit of playing around with the proportions of things to make it look reasonable. And then once I'm happy with how things are starting to look, I can add detail to the character himself, uh, really solidifying the anatomy in particular, because we want it to look as convincing as possible because he's in a bit of a tricky pose, and then working as well with the costume around that. Once I'm happy with that, I can start to add line work. So I go through and do the majority of the character's artwork in the point two, and then later I'm gonna come along with a point zero three to do all of the little lines on Spider-Man's costume. And then once that's done, I'll be able to go through and add color. Once I'm up to the coloring phase of Spider-Man, I start off with a base of a, a mid-tone red, but I'm leaving an edge along the left side of Spider-Man, which is gonna eventually be where the sun is hitting him to add some backlighting and a bit of interest to make the, the picture pop a bit. Then I go on to some deeper tones of the red, and once I've added some shadow, I go through and blend with my original red marker. And then lately I've tried to be more brave with my Copic coloring in and uh, go darker. And one of the ways that I like to add some depth into the shading of my pieces is to work with various grays. So after I've put down my base red tones and my shadow red tones, I go into my neutral grays. Beyond that, the blues themselves are gonna be going for a bit of a velvety look so to start off, I actually work with greys, those being C6 and C8, just to add uh, the basics of where the shadows are gonna go and where the light will be left. And then I add a tint to the whole bluish area with the B23 Halo Blue, I think that's how you pronounce it. Finally, after all of that, I go through with my B39 Prussian Blue and a really dark C10 for the final darkest areas of the shading. And then after a bit more blending and a bit of this and that, I eventually get around to adding some highlights. And I start off with the Y11 Pale Yellow, just for the very edges, and then a very, very thin edge outline of Y17 Golden Yellow. And these, as you can see, hopefully add a real nice golden sheen to the edge of Spider-Man and make him pop out and look like he's sitting and basking in the sun before jumping off the ledge. Finally, once I'm happy with that, I can go through and do the outline of Spider-Man in a thicker outline pen, and I use a 0.5. And uh, part of the reason this is nice is, aside from solidifying the silhouette, it also helps clean up areas where I've gone over the line slightly. And then the last bits I do are in the building, doing the shading with some neutral grays, some very light neutral grays, just to make it look like a white building so it doesn't intrude on the artwork of the character very much. And then finally, a little bit more color and shade around the windows just to add some interest and uh, a little bit of shadow behind Spider-Man to make him look like he's anchored in the environment itself. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we have our finished piece, the sensational Spider-Man, and this character was requested by Mick Fletch. So as usual, I assign and dedicate to Mick Fletch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to join future streams by clicking the link on the screen and in the description. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later.